Hello, everybody. My name is Drew with Acoustic Collectibles. I'm coming back uh, today uh, on YouTube to show you my second ever PCGS submission. Um, I'm really excited to show you guys. I had um, a few coins for myself to submit, and I also submitted a few for my friend Hudson. Um, I really hope you guys enjoy this video, learn a little bit from me and some wins and losses of it. And uh, if you do enjoy this video, just make sure to leave a like, uh, comment what you think. And yeah, let's get right to the video. I wanted to show you a few submissions that we got back from PCGS. Um, a lot of good grades, some not so good grades. Um, that's kind of the way any submission works. Uh, you just kind of know what's good and what's not good and then constantly be refining over time uh, what what is good to submit and what's not good to submit. So let me just move this out of the way. We'll start off with the first two coins. Uh, the first two coins were actually submitted um, as a crossover just because of uh, the color that it has and also uh, just the grade that it had over at ANX. So the first coin we're going to be showing off is not mine, but it's one of my buddies. Um, this is a 1795 half dime. It's been plugged. Um, you can kind of see it if I zoom in. Right where that neck is, there's like a bump right below that black spot. But you can really see it when you flip over the coin. And you see a giant like dot right above the head where someone tried to fill it in. It's a shame that what happened to this coin, but the detail is still extremely beautiful for, for what it is. It's got these like blue and green, a little bit of yellow hues on it. Um, just an overall beautiful coin. Um, I, I did buy true views on all these coins because true views do sell coins. I don't, I mean, I buy coins so I can get the true views. $5 is worth more, is worth less uh, to me than having true views. Um, but this coin is a really, really beautiful coin. And I would estimate this coin to be like, I don't know, 4,000, I don't know, any 4,000 and up. So it's kind of a, a really harder coin to get, especially with just the, the flowing hair and the details of the face. Also, you know, this eagle on the back. So. Uh, let's jump into the next coin though. This coin might shock you how beautiful it is. This one was also a part of the crossover. Um, so this is a 1956 Roosevelt dime. The color is just, I mean, it's just bouncing off the coin. Um, I got this in an annex holder and I wanted to make sure it crossed successfully. So I put it in an express crossover and it came back MS-66. Uh, most people would say, oh my gosh, this is garbage coin, you know, MS-66, it's like, what, I think $10 coin, but something of this caliber and this toning, um, you can even see that on the back, there's that beautiful kind of crescent starting to form on the right side of the head, I mean, but most people would just say, oh, it's a $10 coin, it's an ugly coin, uh, the toning like this, I could sell this coin to a collector um, for $300, so just, just to put into perspective, Toning does matter and extremely, I mean, it's extremely important to study your toning and what someone would pay for it. But the true views for this coin is immaculate. I'm going to include all the true views of all these coins in the description below, but just another immaculate coin. I'm so glad I submitted this one. It's just so beautiful. Now we're going to be moving into the raw submissions. So I'm just showing you guys two submissions today. Um, we, we, uh, I submitted a few coins for my buddy uh, Hudson. He's on Instagram. Uh, I'm probably gonna just you know give him his, give him your, the tag for him, and you guys can go check him out. He's a really cool guy. This is a 1916D key date Mercury dime, graded AG3. Just about what we expected it. We cra we cracked it. I think out of a ICG holder that like a green one, one of those ugly ones. Um, you really gotta watch and see what coins demand more money in what holders so like an ngc coin in ag3 would be like oh uh, you know 500 or uh 450 bucks but maybe in a pcgs holder it would be 550 600 bucks so sometimes it's good to check sold comps and go with the best grading company for uh your coin and i say all this all the time every coin has its story you have to sometimes take a little bit longer to get what it needs to get so this one was cracked out of an AG3 holder from ICG. Now it's AG3, but people will actually appreciate the coin rather than saying it's an ugly holder and I don't really trust that company. And this also has a tribute. So a beautiful coin. It's going to be going to a collector once it goes back to my buddy Hudson. 
So let's move on to the next coin. So this coin is actually a big, huge fail. Um, this is an XF45-1885. Everyone's like, what the crap is this, right? This is the stuff that people scratch their head at while they hold it. But if you could take a look at this, like the sides right here, uh, my buddy Hudson thought this might have been a proof. And when I received it, I didn't know what to think either. So I was like, hey, you know, you send it off. Um, if it comes back and it's not, you know, it's not a proof, then we can all laugh about it and learn from it. But if it comes back a proof, you know, uh, even an XF proof, I mean, I've sold an XF proof before for like, well, I think a thousand dollars. So it's kind of more of a learning curve for him and me. And so I sent this off, didn't really know what to expect. And, uh, you know, we got it back and we started laughing and, but it's just sometimes when you wonder about something and you don't really know how to figure it out other than submitting it, uh, most of the time submitting it will tell you the answer. Sometimes it'll cost you, but mo every single time you'll learn something. So uh, we got hosed, but I mean, uh, we laugh about it and keep moving on. Now we are going to go on to the next coin. This coin is actually very, very rare uh, to see. So. Hudson actually wanted to submit some coins that looked like it had a shot at pour one. Um, and you can actually see it right there. It's a pour one. So it's an 18, 19 quarter um, with a large nine graded pour one. It has true views as well. Um, you can just barely see the date. Um, I would say this is more of the fair two side on this side. But when you flip it over, you can definitely see this is pour one. Um, just by how the wear of it and... And I think this coin is a pop one. So there's only one in pour one across any co grading company. So this is the coin uh, that probably made the submission for Hudson. Um, he's gonna really like this and the pour one uh, buyer that he has is also gonna like this as well. So congrats Hudson on this pop one across any service uh, for this type of coin. Uh, you deserve it buddy. And now we got two more beautiful coins to show you. Uh, this is another quarter that we wanted to show today. Um, we wanted to see if it had a shot at pour one. Um, so we submitted it. I think it looks more like a fair two. Um, just because the date is, but the date is kind of, I don't know. It's harder with this quarter because the date's a little bit higher up on the coin. Most of them are kind of hugging the rim when it comes to dates. So I think PCGS is a little bit more lenient. Um, if you flip it over, this is the more worn side. Um, most of the details are gone, you know, the talons, uh, the air, everything is pretty much worn down on this coin. Um, but this coin came back as a poor one as well. So it's a really great coin. Um, you know, if you can get a bunch of poor ones like this, find the collector for it. Um, that's the thing. Hudson has a lot of great collectors and a lot of people that, that like this type of stuff. So know your niche, submit stuff to PCGS make your money and keep going. So congrats Hudson on this poor one as well. Now, last but not least, uh, we are trying out the last coin. So this, this coin right here is uh, an 1858, I believe. Yeah, 1858 uh, large letter sent. Uh, when we kind of held it up to the PCGS guide on, on grading, we felt uh, with the words kind of one cent being rubbed off a lot, um, we felt that it had a shot at poor one, so I'm kind of giving away, you know, giving my hand away here. But it did come back fair too. Um, but Hudson said, "Hey, if I get this in a poor one holder, um, someone will pay me $400 for this coin." So uh, he felt like, "Hey, let's crack it and let's submit it back to PCGS and let's see what they say. Maybe the first time around wasn't uh, their their best for this coin." And so. Uh, we're gonna try to crack. We're gonna crack this out, and we're gonna be submitting it in our next regular order. And if it comes back the way it's supposed to come back, then that'll be a good thing. You know, you make 400 bucks, or you make 300 bucks, whatever, after grading fees and stuff. But if it doesn't come back, comes back fair too. That's okay. You know, you're only making what 50 bucks maybe, and losing 50 bucks. So you kind of have to weigh the ins and outs of all this stuff before you submit. But I think Hudson did good on this coin. I think it has a real shot at poor one. I want to thank you guys for watching today's video. If you did like it, please make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, uh, like the video if you can. Um, it just really helps out with uh, getting some momentum started on the channel again. 
Uh, I plan on uploading a little bit more um, when I can. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. This has been Drew with Acoustic Collectibles, and I will see you next time.